Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Friday, January 19th, 2024, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. The travel industry has gone from deep struggles during COVID to a major boom with the high demand for revenge travel. So what's in store for travel in 2024? Skift Research believes the industry will return to normal, writes head of research Seth Borko. Skift Research said in its newly published 2024 Global Travel Outlook that revenue growth for the travel industry will likely decelerate. However, Borko writes the slowdown isn't a sign of weakness. He adds that economic conditions appear poised to support further spending and that consumers increasingly prioritize travel. Next, Airbnb argues that New York City hasn't delivered on the benefits it promised residents after it enacted a de facto ban on short-term rentals in the city, writes executive editor Dennis Shaw. New York City enacted the law, which requires hosts be present for stays shorter than 30 days, as part of its efforts to increase housing availability and lower rents. Taylor Marr, Airbnb's senior housing economist, said there's been no discernible increase in available rental supply since the city's rules went into effect last September. In addition, rents in New York City rose roughly 2% in December. Finally, Spirit Airlines faces an uncertain future following a federal judge's decision to block its proposed merger with JetBlue Airways, writes Airlines reporter Meghna Maharashi. Maharashi writes Spirit is on its own to deal with declining revenues and surging operational costs. The airline hasn't turned a profit since 2019, and several analysts said it probably needs a buyer or another way to improve its financial situation. Spirit's shares have dropped by nearly 70% since the judge's ruling. Maharashi adds Frontier Airlines, which originally sought to merge with Spirit in 2022, could be a potential buyer, but some industry analysts believe it may be difficult for Frontier to launch a bid since it's also in a financially weaker state compared to two years ago. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Hey, Skift listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.